Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about this topic. Myra Planted had a live today and I was like, this is a great video topic as well. We all have seen our 2022 planner lineups. We have all seen everything that is occurring and happening. So I just wanted to talk about what's happening with my current planner lineup, what I'm doing, and I really just wanted to talk about how I'm using them. Let's talk about them. I've been using these planners and without these planners, I don't think I would be functioning the way I am now, being a caregiver with all my responsibilities, appointments, just life. I think I would be overwhelmed. So these are my babies. So let's talk about the Hobonichi weeks here. This is my everything planner, my everyday carry, my catch-all, just everything. So I love this planner. I set it up because I wanted positive messages. I wanted to just have things in here for me that are for me. And I love that I have everything that inspires me here. And I just love that. I have my mood tracker here and I love my mood tracker, first of all. It's keeping me on track. Now, yesterday I had a very like upsetting day and I am gonna put that, but from what I've noticed, I have been upset and it's not as much as I thought, but I'm reducing it and I'm seeing that I'm getting upset maybe once a month. So this is really great for me because I can see when I'm happy, when I'm neutral. So I just love that. Then I have my type A for Alexa dividers. These are Hello Kitty inspired. I love Hello Kitty. I love my spread. And I recently ordered Capital Chic Designs because I love these stickers for journaling, but I would love to see brown skin. And I don't really see brown skin for journaling and I bought a whole bunch of stickers from Capital Chic and I cannot wait to use them to see that representation. So this is the current month I'm on and I just have it divided here to the month. I love this so much. And I have to set up April and that's probably gonna be the next video that I'm gonna be doing for next week. But I did want to kind of have that set up and my daddy's birthday, he turns 95. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then I have, of course, like, you know, my weeklies and I'm just kind of like going through it because I don't wanna share anything that's too personal. But these are my weeklies. And I'm just obsessed with these. Like I'm loving my weeklies. I'm loving that I'm using, you know, journaling stickers, planner aesthetic stickers, a glittery life plan stickers. And I just love using washi tape and deco. And I'm really just loving it. Like when I started out, it was very like journaly type. And I do love journaling type of like aesthetics. And I love that so much. So for me, I just love looking back on these and I love that I can keep, I'm going to keep this planner, I'm going to keep it as an archive and I can look back and see what happened in my life. So I'm really loving this journey and I'm loving that I can look back on this and just really, really look back and keep it and keep it as an archive. So I have my divider here. I don't want to like lift up the page because if not, it's going to be a huge glare. And I have my sticker pocket there. So love that. So I still use this weekly. You all have seen me planning it. You all know I'm using it. You all know how much I love it. And I just absolutely love my Hoenichi weeks. I also love that I have notes here. I love that I can keep my trackers very separately and I've been using them. So there are trackers that I'm like, mm, next year I'm probably not gonna use. Like the fitness, I kind of fell off. Like I'm not even gonna lie. My cycle, I do use it. My sleep, I use it. My journaling, I'm trying to use it. Social media, I'm trying to stay on top of that. Home organization, I try to stay on top of that, but it's so just innate in me. I know when I clean, so I don't think I'm gonna be using this. Like I have four times a year that I heavily do cleaning, and organize and just kind of like really downsize or minimize or or donate just things that I don't need I know when I do it like four times a year I do a very heavy deep clean organization decluttering all that and then you know I clean every week and usually I clean once a week deep clean for about two hours three hours and I also tidy every day so it's something that I do. Reading, I really need to get on reading. I'm just like, I need to get better. My poop tracker, keeping track of that. And then of course, 
my debt, which is really important to me. And my spending tracker, you know what? Like I keep track of my spending within the weeks and I'm not going here. So I may take this out or I need to get better at keeping track of that. So I'm debating that. This is my Wonderland 222. Now I did order a cover for it and I do have a bunny cover. So I think I may use the bunny cover for like Easter or something like that. But this is like my family planner. This is my planner where I write everything down that has to do with my family. Not just me, my son, my mother, my father, myself, our appointments, our life. Everything that happens in my house is in this planner. I also keep track of their blood pressure and I write it down here. I've been keeping track of it weekly because I am also doing medication management and blood pressure management now. So my my responsibilities are increasing and it is a lot. So I have to keep track of everything here. And one thing I love about this planner, and I'm just gonna show you here, if I can get to it, is my trackers, which I have been using. So you all can see like, is she using her planner? Yes, I'm using my planner. Yes, I'm keeping track of things. Now for this, right, I started to see what I wanted to do with blood pressure because I want to track it on a main planner. And I'm playing around with like layout, how I want it to look, what do I want it to look like. So this is kind of like a trial, like what I want it to look like, but I've been keeping track of this. Now every week I go back and backfill it. So I just keep track. I want a desired sleep amount of seven hours and I really do want to try to stay happy. So that is my goal. And that's what I have here. And these are the things I'm tracking. I'm not doing too much of overworking myself. And then I have my monthly overview here. And what I do is just basically put in all the appointments, highlight the appointments and make sure that I have the appointments I need to go to in this planner because it's important that I keep track of that. And then what I do towards the end of the month, right? And this is okay. I, I can show you this because nothing too crazy here. But I like to keep track of my videos. I use Notion to content plan. I use Notion to plan out what videos I am doing or just kind of put what videos I completed in my content calendar. And then I will write all the videos I did. I will keep track of how many. And then I will use that to see, you know, how this month went. And I also do my social media analytics on Notion. So that tells me, okay, what videos did I film? What videos are doing well? What videos does, does my audience like? Because basically I film videos to help you all and just kind of inspire you. There's some videos I talk about things and there's videos I just like to plan and just be my planner and that's okay. Sometimes we have those days. So that's what I do with this. I do a review and then I just go over like what happened in the month. So that's fine. And then, like I said, like I try to keep track of uh, also expenses, like what my parents spent, who spent what, and their, their blood pressure. So I'm just gonna kind of go over that. So now that I did that, I already went into this month and I already prepared this month, right? I did my, just basically what I want my week to look like. So this is the first week coming up. And this is one that I don't share on social media or on my channel because like I said, it's so very personal with my family and my life. And there's a lot of like notes and things I gotta write. So I just kind of keep this to myself for privacy reasons. But I do wanna share that I do use this. So everybody has a preference, but the thickness of the paper is very nice. I like the thickness of it to be honest. And then when you flip the pages over, like if I go to a month that doesn't have like any, you know, anything too much. Like, I just love the way it sounds when it flips. Like, I just love that sound. You know, I just, I really, really do. So it has a nice sound to it. So I really like this planner. And of course, you all have seen my Hobonichi cousin. I'm just going to move the other planners out of the way. And you have seen, first of all, love this. I just love that this is inspiring. So whenever I need a pick-me-up, this is what I turn to, this is what I read, and I'm gonna add some more because I got some amazing stickers from Planner Aesthetic, and I'm gonna add some affirmations in here. But when I need an affirmation, when I need to go back and read something, this is what I do. So this is, <laughs> let me tell you the story behind this planner. This is my third Hobonichi cousin for 2022, because the first one I spilled 
coffee all over it, ruined it. And then the second one, you know, I was just being clumsy. So now that I kind of figured out how to be with this planner, I love it. I plan it every month. So I like to keep my appointments here like, okay, Stella, you got an appointment. I don't really write like what time it is. That goes in the family planner. And it also goes in my weekly plans. But I do use this every single week. And then what I do here is I plan everything for the week. And I literally write down everything I have done. So when I need to look back on what I was doing, this is also going to be an archive because this is more like my responsibilities with my family. So it pertains to my family, but it's mainly what I need to do for my family. So if I got to take my mom to the store, I write that. If I got to go grocery shopping, I write that. If I place an order, I write that. So this is more like me pertaining to my family. So it's a little more me based than family based. And then this is like the week that I just planned. I love just planning in this. I think it's beautiful. In the back, I've been using this every single month. What I do is have an inbox. I have a checklist of what I need to do. And if I need to journal and express my emotions, my feelings, what I feel, I will do that. Okay, so I this is like a little journal, right? Meg and Myra are on Archer and Olive's live. So proud of them. Something simple, like, you know, just proud of my friends, just proud of them being on a live. Um, and then, you know, I have like little notes, great day with mom. Love these, right? So I love that, self-care, personal self-care. And then I have, obviously have pages where I like literally write and write so much and write so much. And I'll put a face here. <laughs> and that's that's what it is. And then I have uh, February here and then I have a piece of paper. I love that because it kind of covers like sometimes because when we flip through our planners, we have to be careful what page we flip through. So I have a note here, but I also wanted to kind of add this in because I think it just adds like a beautiful touch to it and it makes it really personalized. And then I really, really am obsessed with March. Like this I think was my favorite like spread because I'm able to see what's going on. I get to write my goals. I didn't really have any notes for, for this month and that's okay. Some notes are not gonna be written if there are no notes to write. And then I just write down like, you know, little things here. And then when I need to write, you can clearly see I wrote on this page, like wrote. And some days I just don't write anything and that's okay. Like there are days you're not gonna wanna write and there are days that you're not gonna be expected to write but just to show you i literally write down everything in this planner and then in the back i have like my little notes section which i also divided and then i have like what i do for filming what i do for like youtube instagram things like that and then i have like my my little uh pen or marker kind of little area and then this is like my schedule and you know what i've been pretty good about keeping with the schedule. Now, I don't schedule posts at this time. I don't know why I wrote that, but no. Really what I do in this time right now is like kind of finishing up planning and then I go downstairs and start preparing my parents' breakfast. So there are things in here that this is an ideal situation, but as my parents are getting older or as my mother is showing more increasing signs of decline, my schedule is gonna change and it's probably gonna get different in every single month. So right here, I like to keep track of when I'm happy, my percentage, the percentage that I'm happy. I think this is really important because it'll it'll show me like, when are you happy? When do you feel a certain way? My favorite movies, I love this, or shows. And then I have all my videos, which I need to write because I stopped at 23. My goal is to go over 100 videos. That is for my 100 list. So I love that. And then my back here. So these are my three planners that I just showed in my lineup. And this is my Notique. This is basically my planner for just self-care. And I really am using just one section and I've so shown this so many times, but this is where I just keep track of my moods, keep track of things that I'm keeping track of with my yearly goals. So I only use one section and I think it's really important because once I start 
you know, consistent therapy schedule, this is what's going to go in here. So, and this is very, very personal. Like I shared my month of March and I shared certain things, but obviously as I start going through therapy and the process and writing things down, it's going to be very personalized. So yes, I use this, but will I show it? Mm, I'm not sure because it's very personal. Goals, I can write down goals and share them here. But once again, like I said, this is my self-care planner and um, it's very personal. So I kind of keep that to myself and, and you know, I'm entitled to that. I'm entitled to keeping this to myself. And then of course, my little, little happy deco that I love using. Now I will say I turn into a, a washi obsessed planner and I have no doubts that I will continue loving washi. So this is what I'm using. These are all the planners I'm using. And I really, really hope that this gave you a good sense of, is she still using her planners? What is she using? Did she stop using her planners? Nope, still using my planners and letting you know how I use them. So I really hope this was helpful. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, bye.